Strassman Live Movie Review. Movie. Dave Strassman is a ventriloquist, and that type of performance is not exactly the most popular anymore. But what Strassman does is use some more modern humor with this medium. And yes, I have heard of Ahmed the Dead Terrorist, I think it's called. Haven't seen any of it yet, so can't make any comparisons. Basically, Strassman has a couple of characters. These are pretty well designed, the puppets are pretty well designed, and the personalities are pretty good and make for pretty good, you know, ventriloquism, back and forth kind of jokes. Basically, we have Chuck Wood, who's the real star, even, you know, whether or not you want him to be. Basically, it's a bratty boy, and, you know, he's, he's the, the provoking character that's usually very popular. We have Ted E. Bear, Teddy Bear, a, an innocent young, you know, living teddy bear. He and Chuck are quite childish, and some of the best of the show is really the relationship between the, the two of them and Strassman trying to keep them both in line. With Chuck being a troublemaker, and Teddy being, you know, goody two-shoes. We have Sidney the Beaver, who's an old professional in show business, and Kevin the Alien, who has some interesting points to make about space and life on Earth. The show is, in spite of the DVD claiming it to be 112 minutes, it's actually 1 hour and 12 minutes. I guess they got confused there. That length does keep it, excuse me, from being excessively long, because there is only so long that you can keep watching ventriloquism. The humor mixes, you know, various, it has some silly and, you know, kind of you know, the back and forth kind of banter. It has, you know, kind of sexual humor. It has, you know, there's a lot of Chuck trying to sort of, you know, get Teddy to, you know, kind of rob him of his innocence by, you know, saying some things that he shouldn't know about. You know, for being just a kid, Chucky, Chuck, does know a lot about sex and other mature things. Now, the limitations of ventriloquism, you know, he always does have to have the puppet, he, he's the, the one controlling the puppet, and, you know, there are other various limitations. When you are working with any kind of entertainment, you always have to acknowledge these limitations and work within them. Usually Strassman does this well. A couple of times he even pokes fun of them, but there are times where the gag or the joke does rely a bit on basically the puppet being able to do something that it can't, you know, and those do kind of fall flat. I would especially say the ending is a tad strange, but it is, you know, it's Australian humor, I'm still somewhat new to it. Also on that note, this does get pretty disgusting at times. Bodily function humor, basically, you know. Again, I think that's something that Australian comedians sometimes use a bit. Yeah, maybe more so than American, or at least more directly than American ones, but maybe that's just me.
please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.